hello guys so in today's video i'm going to show you how to use derp tool so derp is basically a penetration testing tool it looks for existing or hidden web directories and the main reason for using it is actually to find directories that are vulnerable to attacks so when you run derp you simply launch a dictionary based attack against the web server that you are testing so in this video i'm going to do my best to show you how to get the most out of derp we will start with the basic derp command and then we will discover the possible options to make the whole scan even more fun so if you don't have uh, derp already installed you can install it using apt so you can run sudo apt get install derp and then it will be installed in your system so for today's video i have installed bw app or buggy web application and it's a web application that, that is very vulnerable but the main reason why i have installed it is uh, it actually has a lot of directory and this will let us see the real power of derp so if you want to test it you can use any web application on your local host because you just need simply any web application with some directories some html pages or just web pages uh, you don't really have to use bw app or buggy web application and you don't and and don't use it on online websites because it's actually illegal but there are some websites that allows you to practice your hacking skill in, in a legal way. So Google it and use uh, this kind of site if you don't really want to install any application on your local host. Or if you have application already installed, you can just simply follow with me. So with that said, let's start using it. So this is actually the basic derp command, which is actually derp and then uh, the URL in my case the web application is running on my localhost which is why the URL is localhost so if we were if we run this command as you can see we will get a result back with a lot of information yeah, as you can see there's a lot of information so derp uses the command the txt as a default word list file but you can go to this directory and see all the all the possible word lists so let's go there or list this directory As you can see here is the default uh, word list file which is common.txt and there are some other uh, word list files. Some of these word lists are longer than the others so you can try and see which one is better in your case and to use a different word list you can type that after the URL in the command line. So for example I can use the big.txt instead of the default one. So for example I can type here the command and then pig.txt and it now uses the pig.txt word list instead of the default one uh, you, you can also download a good word list uh, from the internet and use it because the word list on the internet are actually always better and they have a lot of words and you can also choose more than word list file and you can simply use a comma between each word list file so for example I can type big.txt and then common.txt and then derp is going to use big and common.txt oh I should here specify a comma and now as you can see here two word list and you can use uh, however you want so now we are ready actually to start using the option so the first option or parameter is uh, x with the uppercase letter so this option basically lets you specify the file extension that you are looking for so if you are for example searching for php files because for example there is a vulnerability there uh, you can type the following which actually basically derp and then uppercase letter x and then dot php and as you can see here uh, extension list dot php you can also specify more than uh, extension and also you can use a comma for, for, so for example dot, uh, let's say CSS and now uh, the extension list is PHP plus CSS so let's say that you want to search for a lot of extensions so then you can simply use the lowercase letter X followed by the uh, files that contain these extensions instead of using the uppercase letter X so you can simply use uh, specify a file with a lot of uh, extensions so for example let me show you I have here this file extensions.txt so I'm going to uh, 
desktop and now I'm going to run the derp command the x and then extensions.txt and let me show you this file it has some extensions .php, txt, config, css and you can specify uh, a lot of extensions and now and as you can see here derp is now looking for all these extensions and as you can see we have more results than the default to search because we specified the more uh, extensions so let's talk about the second parameter which is actually the in uh, uppercase letter in so this parameter simply lets you ignore a specific http response status code and if you don't know what http status code means it's simply a code that indicates whether a specific http request has been successfully completed so for example the code 200 means that the request has succeeded and the code 500 means that there is an internal server error and if you want to learn more about this status code i do have a link down below in the video description with all the status codes that are out there and to make this idea of status code easy i'm going to give you an example so imagine that you are testing a website and you are not interested in the web pages that do work because simply you are looking for web pages that don't work or there might have some errors because these web pages might tell you something important about the backend or about the web server so in this case it's really helpful to use the end parameter with the code 200 which is actually uh, which means that the request has succeeded so depending on what uh, on what you are searching you can use this parameter the way you want so let me demonstrate here if I'm using the end parameter with code 200 I just get two results because now uh, derp ignored all the 200 uh, uh, status code and just show me this two these two status code which is which aren't the 200 uh, status code and this uh, status code 302 means uh, redirect and if I didn't use it you can simply see that I have more results because derp is showing me all the status codes but this parameter actually uh, does have uh, some useful use cases well the next parameter is actually the t parameter and it means don't force an ending forward slash because by default uh, derp does force an ending forward slash after the directory name so here actually at the end uh, so this is actually very helpful if you want to search in the directory name plus the words from the word list so i'm going to show you how this actually works so for example here derp won't force an ending forward slash after the pw up instead it will it will immediately test the words without any any forward slash between uh, the last uh, directory and the word so actually the directory name plus the words will become uh, all one word so if i didn't use the t parameter as you can see here uh, derp did force an ending forward slash while here it didn't force it and now I have a full long word so uh, this uh, parameter does actually have a lot of also useful uh, uh, use cases so for example you can use you can test a particular uh, directory plus words uh, like here plus words immediately without any ending forward slash so moving to our next two parameters and they are actually the R lowercase letter and we have here is R uppercase letter so dirt by default search recursively for uh, subdirectories so for example if there was testing this uh, directory and then it found the admin directory then it will enter the admin directory and search inside it for subdirectories so but if you want to be asked uh, about every directory like if, if you should enter it you can use the R parameter uh, uppercase letter so for example when they found a directory called admin it's, uh, it will ask you if you want to scan this directory as you can see here so you can say yes or no 
so uh, if you didn't specify the uppercase letter R, derp will automatically search inside all the directories and that is actually here as you can see entering directory admin but if I used the uppercase letter R I will get asked if I want to scan this directory or derp will ask you actually you can also use the lowercase letter R which will uh, which means actually not recursively so derp won't search recursively and it will skip the directories so it will just uh, search inside this directory as you can see it's way faster because it, it didn't enter the, any uh, directory so moving to our next parameter and which is actually the w parameter so this parameter simply lets you ignore warning messages in case there are some warning messages so for example <clears throat> if i run the derp command default one as you can see here i have some warning messages for example this directory is listable which means that i can see all the content all the contents of this directory as a list so let's check it out as you can see here it's listable it's it's actually uh, not safe to have such a directory so i'm here i'm getting this kind of uh, warning messages so if i want to ignore this warning messages and simply let derp uh, go and search inside all these directories i can use a w parameter well in my case it's not really helpful to ignore the warning messages because this uh, warning message is really helpful for me because simply the directory is listable and i don't need to scan it i can already see what's inside it but in general if you want to skip any warning message you can use uh, a w parameter so let's uh, test it as you can see derp will enter every directory and will ignore all the warning messages so I want to mention something very uh, important before we continue as I said before that you can use the uppercase letter R parameter if you want to be asked about if derp should search inside the, the directory for subdirectories but I have noticed that if there is a warning message for a specific directory uh, let's say for example this directory derp will simply skip it because there is a warning message and derp won't ask you if you want to search inside it so to avoid this problem we can use uh, the uppercase letter parameter plus uh, the w parameter or actually these two parameters together and then derp will not just ask you for uh, normal directories or directories that has no problems but but actually even for directories that do have uh, some problems so as you can see here now I'm being asked to search uh, f inside every directory or to search or not to search so I, I can choose for every directory and if I didn't specify the W parameter to skip warnings derp just will ask me for directories that are normal or don't have any warnings as you can see derp skipped all these directories so to avoid such a situation you can use the r and w parameter together so we're well, moving to our next two parameters which are which are actually the v parameter and the uppercase letter s uh, parameter so this parameter simply allows you uh, to either see the full test or uh, in other words you can see all the non-existent pages during the test so for example if i use the v parameter i'll see all the words that are being tested so it, which is actually a full uh, vision of what's happening or you can use the uh, s parameter uppercase letter s parameter for a silent mode and you won't see anything you'll just see the final result or actually you won't see the words that are being tested and now i didn't see uh, the all the words that are being tested i just saw here uh, found nine words as you can see they are here with a plus well if i did and but if i used the v parameter i will see all the words that are being tested it's like a full uh, vision of it and the silent test can be used for dumb terminals or terminals that have a very low processing power the next option in our list is the z parameter 
so this parameter allows you to add milliseconds delay so you won't cause excessive flood during the testing because in real web servers you can easily get banned if you are requesting a lot of web pages in a, in a very uh, short time so if you want to, to do the whole process a little bit slow you can use this, uh, the z parameter so for example 500 is actually half a second so I, as you can see here derp is testing every half second the word i'm going to stop it so i can use thousand which means actually a second so derp will test every second the page because some web servers are actually if you, if you request a lot of web pages they will simply ban you well the final important parameter is the all parameter it simply allows you to save the output of the scan in a specific text file or any file you want so for example I can run the scan with O parameter and output to txt and as you can see here I have the file output to txt I can open it and I can see the full scan if you are still with me thank you so much but before I end this video I want to mention something very important which is that there are some other options that you can use with derp and I'm going to put them on the screen so you can see them uh, but I'm not going to explain a lot about them because they are either not used a lot anymore or you need to be familiar with other topics to be able to fully understand them but I'm actually not going to explain them because I don't think that you will use them a lot but if you do want me to explain any of these parameters uh, leave a comment down below and I will be happy to answer your question so thank you so much for being here if you enjoyed this video and you want to hear more from me again be sure to consider subscribing and have a great day